Welcome back to Backwoods Horror Stories. This is a story that was submitted by a listener via email. If you have a story of your own to share, email brian at paranormalworldproductions.com. You can also leave us a voicemail by clicking the button right here in the show notes. Now let's get into this story of a roadside crossing encounter with something big, hairy, and unexplained. Hello there. I wanted to share my encounter. I've told a few people and I'd say it's about 50-50 on who believes me. I can assure you that I don't drink and drive and I do not do drugs of any kind. Even if I was higher drunk, unless it was LSD or something like that, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't see a giant ape man. That response from critics has always amused me. Like, what the hell kind of stuff would you drink to make you see things that aren't there? It's just silly. I don't want to leave my name, but I don't mind telling you the incident that happened just outside Huntsville, Alabama. I was on my way home from work. I normally get off around 11.30, but the third shift was shorthanded, so I volunteered to work over for four hours to help cover half of the night shift. So I wouldn't normally be passing through this stretch of road at almost 4 a.m. I want to go ahead and state that this isn't going to be the most exciting encounter you've ever heard, but I've heard from a few different places that there may be something to these roadside crossings. And after I saw what I saw, I tend to agree with this now. That being said, I felt it's important to share my encounter so we can start trying to piece together this mystery. Wayne, I've heard you say several times that the best way we have to learn about these things is by listening to the experiences from others. I can't agree with you more. So as I said, it was getting close to 4 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. It was the fall of the year and it was a bit nippy out. I topped this small hill and then the road levels out for about a mile or so. The speed limit was 55, so I'd say I was going about 60 or so. Up ahead on my right was what looked like a large boulder. I traveled this road daily, or at least I had for over three years. Not to mention that I lived there my whole life and I traveled up and down this road so much I could probably do it blindfolded at this point. So needless to say, this boulder thing immediately seemed out of place. So I started to slow my truck down so I could get a better look. There was just something that seemed to be off about this big ass rock. I'd say I slowed down to about 40 miles an hour, and about 50 or 60 yards from it, the damn thing stood up. I mean, it stood up on two legs. This shocked the piss out of me, so I did the first thing that popped in my head. I stood on the brakes and came to a screaming stop. I came to a stop about 20 yards from this thing. Now, I played high school football, and I had a scholarship to a D2 school out west that, regrettably, I didn't accept. I mention that only to show that I'm quite familiar with distance and yards. I was no more than 20 yards from this thing, and my bright lights were on already. I got a great look at it. It was dark in color, either black or dark brown, and completely covered in hair. I swear his face looked like those pictures we've seen of the caveman. He was facing towards the other side of the road, with its upper body turned to face me, if that makes any sense. Almost like its neck didn't turn like it would have to turn its entire upper body to look left or right. The whole encounter probably lasted 10 seconds at most, but it felt like an hour. Then it turned its upper body to the same direction as the lower, took three steps, and was across the street. It made its way on into the woods, and it disappeared. When it was gone, I snapped out of my trance and I floored it to get the hell out of there. I remember not wanting to look to my left as I passed, afraid I might see the thing again. I cannot for the life of me understand why we've had such a hard time finding these things for all these years. That they are so good at hiding from modern society, but yet somehow go completely stupid when a vehicle's coming by. I tell you what, I don't buy that for a second. I believe this thing wanted me to see it. This happened a year and a half ago, and I still don't like going down that road. I've started taking a different way home that added seven minutes to my commute. I don't hunt anymore and I absolutely refuse to go out into the woods. I don't care if it's alone or with 20 other people. I had no interest in Bigfoot before this happened to me that day and I used to say I wouldn't mind seeing one. Now that I have, I can honestly say I wished I never had and I certainly don't want to do it again. I can't explain what this has done to me. My wife thinks I may have PTSD and that I need to talk to somebody. But where I'm from, you just don't do that. We just lock it up and keep it deep inside. I've heard that sharing your story helps, but I haven't noticed a difference from the probably 20 or so people that I've told. Maybe this will help. Thanks, Wayne, for all you do, and I hope you're able to use this.